First of all, I, I believe a bubble is when everybody seemingly wants it. And like you said, most of the articles are about calling it a top, not a great time to be in. Second, many of those bubble callers have been calling a bubble for hundreds of dollars lower. So I believe it's kind of like the, the little lone wolf that, you know, you, you can't keep crying, you know, that all these things are going to happen. But, you know, in North America, perhaps one of the biggest things you see advertised is people that are willing to buy your gold. Well, my opinion is, is when the public is willing to buy the gold, not those experts who realize that, you know, they can get it from the public. I don't think we're anything close to a bubble. And, and part of the framework that I see eventually to the top of this market is when all the bubble callers become bullish. And, and before that, I think we're okay. Well, I think one man's fair value is another one's overvalued. That's what markets are all about. Uh, in terms of Gatter's uh, argument, I think, as I said in my talk yesterday, that right, wrong, or indifferent, I deal with athletes at the end of the day, the only thing that matters is winning. No one remembers who came second in the World Cup or the Super Bowl. Uh, the bottom line is their argument and the reasons believing gold was going to go higher is, uh, is right. I do think that uh, it would be fair to say, and I think this would be a balanced response, is that gold's fair value would be an equivalent to its old high inflation adjusted. And we know that is around 24, 2500 right now. So I would say as we speak today, if it was at that price versus the 1650 as we speak, then that would be more of a fair value. That's why I still believe, obviously, it's undervalued.